Hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes, back again with another crypto update. And today's update, in my opinion, is really freaking interesting. Breaking news, securities class action suit filed against Coinbase and their top executives. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, shareholder Donald Ramsey has filed a security class action suit as an individual plaintiff, as well as on behalf of other victims, obviously against Coinbase. It's CEO Brian Armstrong, CLO Paul Graywall, and several other senior executives, along with venture capital backers, for allegedly being ambiguous and deceptive about the financial situation and resilience of the company as a crypto trading platform before the public listing. So if you want a little bit of a summary here, Somebody has sued Coinbase because they think they were doing some fishy stuff just before going public and lying or hiding a couple of things. Now, what exactly will come to in just a second, but I can already give you guys a heads up. They basically hit some information, like for example, they went to do an IPO. Uh, they went to a direct listing actually instead of an IPO, which basically means you don't really need any new equity. Because if you're directly listing your shares, you're listing your shares without getting more money from new people. So without issuing new shares, basically, that you would do through an IPO. And a lot of people find that really not fair if a little bit later than that, you're actually going to acquire more capital because that basically takes everything down a notch. So the lawsuit has been filed by the defendant's law firm, Scott plus Scott, in Northern California District Court on Thursday. Defendants' lawyers have asserted their claims under the U.S. Securities Act with required evidence collected from Coinbase regulatory documents to the SEC. Company press releases, analysis reports, and other publicly disclosed information about the exchange. Now, Coinbase is accused of misleading statements. Ramsey claims that Coinbase and its executives made materially misleading statements in their offering documents at the time of public listing and backing Coinbase's efficiency and resilience with statements that lacked a reasonable basis. Quote, at the time of the offering, one, the company required a sizable cash injection, which is what we just referred to, and two, the company's platform was susceptible to service level disruptions, which were increasingly likely to occur as the company scaled its services to a larger user base, end quote, the class action suit stated. So that second part here basically refers to the complaint that Coinbase didn't really make it seem as if their platform could have any problems or that that might form a really big issue for traders. As we'll read in just a second here, it formed a really big problem. So where's the evidence? Well, additionally, the lawsuit points out that as soon as the disparities between false advertising and reality became public info, Coinbase's share price started to fall simultaneously. Referencing mid-May occurrences when Coinbase admitted the company's funds requirement and revealed plans to raise over $1.25 billion through a convertible bond sale. The plaintiff highlighted that Coinbase stock saw a steep decline of over 10% in the span of two trading sessions, and there are also claims of technical trouble in the Coinbase interface on 19th of May. Traders tried to withdraw during the bear run in the crypto sphere and experienced delays and actually lost their money. So obviously nobody likes that and Coinbase should have you know, basically let go of a statement that, well, maybe they're not as stable as they make it seem. And then investors are, uh, were also likely surprised by the timing of the issue, considering that Coinbase just went public in mid-April via direct listing, which doesn't involve issuing new shares or raising capital, signaling that it didn't actually require cash. So the company's decision to issue bonds a little bit over a month later is likely raising some questions. The lawsuit mentioned citing a Forbes report on the bond sale announcement. And I've expressed two things before. One, I find it really odd that they went for a bond offering just a little bit after that. Then again, you might see two things. One, they might have not actually anticipated on the fact that the crypto market would have still done this good. Uh, and the fact that they, for example, needed some extra money to fix their problems, which they saw, for example, after the IPO. Uh, after the direct listing, I should say. After going public, I might also add. Now, it's, it's really difficult to say exactly if they did this all deliberately or at all it's just kind of a coincidence. You might also say the crypto space is a really big mess and maybe over in the Coinbase headquarters, things also were a mess because they wanted to do an IPO first, but it went to go get a direct listing or whatnot. Then again, one thing I would also you know tell the judge and most likely put in my letter is that the CTO, CEO, all those guys sold the majority of their shares, like almost everything. I believe the CTO sold 100% of his own shares, or was it the CFO? Maybe it was the CFO, the chief financial officer of Coinbase. So theoretically speaking, 
If the CFO, the financial officer of the company, sells 100% of his shares, you kind of know something is off, right? If he does not want to have any stock in the company anymore, you already know that some drop is about to happen really soon here. At least that's kind of what I fetched from it. And from that perspective, I do think some fishy stuff might be going on as that guy knows Coinbase, for example, is in a dire need of money. And the CEO most likely knows it all as well, which is why he sold the majority of his stock. Uh, then again, I'm not an expert on how much stock these guys usually sell via direct listing because obviously there needs to be some stock that gets you know out there. Then again, selling all your stock, it's kind of fishy to me. Another one is that they made fun of XRP slash Ripple when they got sued by the SEC. And now they are, you know, not necessarily being sued by the SEC, but they're feeling the wrath of the SEC on your ass. So it's going to be interesting.